we present a method for efficiently computing weighted averages of points on surfaces. Given a set of anchor points and corresponding weights, we find the point on the mesh that is the weighted average of the anchors with those weights. We refer to this problem as the forward problem. The weights must sum to 1, and by changing them we land on different points on the surface. If the weights are 0 for all anchors except 1, the weighted average is exactly that anchor. If the weights vary smoothly, the point on the surface moves smoothly. Computing weighted averages relies on projecting onto a mesh embedded in a high-dimensional Euclidean space. Euclidean projection suffers from discontinuities across mesh edges and is therefore unsuitable for our applications. We introduce Fong projection, which uses tangent planes at vertices to produce smoother results. By solving the forward problem, we can compute spline curves on surfaces. Splines can be designed on the surface and modeled interactively. By defining a coarse quad mesh and subdividing it regularly, we obtain a finer quad mesh on the target surface. Laplacian smoothing on the surface can be applied to improve the quality of the quadrangulation, and points of the coarse quad mesh can be interactively moved to produce the desired remeshing. We also solve the inverse problem. Given a set of anchor points and a target point on the surface, we can compute the weights for which the anchors average to the target. By selecting a different point on the surface, we obtain a different set of weights. Our weights are interpolatory. When the target is one of the anchors, its corresponding weight is 1, and the others are 0. Our weights are smooth and computed independently for every surface point, without a global optimization. This allows us to recompute them interactively as the positions of the anchors change. Some of our weights become negative outside the region covered by the anchors. At each point of the surface, we show the most negative weight using pseudocolors. As we add more anchors, the negative weights become negligible. In combination, the forward and inverse problems allow us to compute dense maps between surfaces giving corresponding anchors. Given a point on the source surface, we solve the inverse problem to find the weights of this point with respect to the anchors. We then solve the forward problem on the target surface to find the corresponding point. An arbitrary point on the source surface can thus be mapped to a point on the target surface. The established correspondence can be used to perform a full texture transfer from one surface to another. The transfer can be controlled by moving the anchor points. To help the user position the anchors, we interactively solve the inverse and forward problem for every vertex, and we show with pseudocolors the regions of the surface where mismatches occur. The user continues to add points until the entire surface is covered. The final result is computed at interactive frame rates. In this example, we are sampling the texture on the target mesh at a speed of half a million texels per second using our CPU-only implementation. Additional anchors can be added, and existing anchors can be moved interactively on both sides. We achieve 1.6 frames per second for this scene using a single quad-core i7 processor. Finally, our dense correspondence can be used to define a morph between two shapes.